as Wolf rips one to right field. That is way back there. And Randy Wolf, that is a foul ball. And Wolf wants a replay. He thinks it was fair. Well, we'll see. Replay. Replay does exist for balls just like this. See if we can get a good look at it here. And from that angle, that's foul. Certainly never see it cross the foul pole. So Bruce Jackman. Now remember the home plate umpire is Gary Darling. He is the only one who can ask for a replay or go to the video for replay. Watch the ball across the foul pole. It never disappears. So that's a foul ball. And that's the best angle of it. It never shows in front from that angle. Yep, they'll take a look at it. Three of the umpires will go underneath. This is the first for me right here, B.A. Replay. First replay. Well, there is a, a group in New York. They have uh, the video production set up in New York in the Major League Baseball offices. They have all of our feeds. They also have all the feeds from the Cincinnati Reds broadcast. And they have access to all the angles that are available. They'll take a look. It's the crew chief who makes the decision. He can ask for help from the two umpires he took with him. But ultimately, Gary Darling is the one who calls for the replay and he'll make the decision. Interesting how dynamics of fields and dimensions come into play with Miller Park. 345 down the line there. And Gary, that would have been 330. That's off the pole. Gary Darling comes out, points it foul. And it is an 0-2 count on Randy Wolf.